Okay, so in this episode, I cover how our team organizes and stores things like round stock, bar stock, parts, uh, how we prevent clogging up our value stream. Value stream is what makes money and how excess inventory can kill a business. Now, it doesn't matter how small the improvement may be if it helps you begin adopting the mindset of continual improvement and eliminate waste then it's worth the time and effort to make the switch over to some lean practices. So what we do is immediately when it gets sawn into a three or four foot blank, we put the material here and then we have these 3D printed tags that have a one of our standardized labels that just slides in here. And then we know that this material is for our rotary unions. So again, it goes, these rotary unions run this machine. Next time we're ready to go, we've already got the material and it's stored here. So we don't want to clog up what's called the value stream. We don't want all this like stuff in our way. So we call these rocket launchers, they're fun, fun title, whatever, where um, if we can fit it in the tubes, it goes in there. If it's too big for the tubes or we have a high volume, it just goes on a cart, gets parked back here. And again, cutting it, standardized lengths, standardized location, uh, labeling, uh, black bins when they're scrap, all that good stuff. We have our pallets. These are big, they're heavy, they are high volume, thinner margins on profit, so we don't want them clogging up our assembly room. So we just bring our carts here. When we get an order, we'll pull them in, we'll box them, that type of thing. Um, keeping all that stuff out of the way. If it doesn't lead towards like higher profit, doesn't lead to a more work enjoy, uh, enjoyable work experience, we just get it out of the way. We try and do that and we at least know where it's at. Uh, we typically leave like the tags on just for quality control, that type of thing. Uh, they broke into this. Oh, that's another thing. This stack is being made on that VM3, like right at the corner. We don't want to work with the whole stack. It's just, it's just too much. Like imagine if like you're, for example, in the kitchen, you're cooking and you need one egg, you're going to go to the fridge and get that one egg. You would never take the 12 or 18 thing and put it on the counter and get that one egg. You would keep it out of the way. We, we employ those same principles. If, it, if we don't need this on the Gemba in the value stream, get it out of the way. It's just a simple lean principle that we do. All right, everybody, come on in, kind of spread out. This is a small area we'll have to crowd in and it's intentionally small. Uh, one of the eight wastes is uh, wasted motion. We don't want to do more movement than is necessary. So in this case, just, just to give you an overview of the layout of the room, we have our raw components over here. We have our workstations, multiple stations, and then we have our finished components that have been assembled, ready to be bagged. We have a walkway and then we have our shipping stations, our dual shipping stations. So things naturally flow from one side of the room to the other as they get completed. And then once they get boxed, they go out the other end. So go ahead and step in. Um, I'm going to step into one of the work cells. You, you guys just fill out the space. I'll talk more about it. So come on in. Do you work for a shop? Do you actually want it to be easier and have higher throughput and lower stress? Well, I've got more of these videos coming. So consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you don't miss an episode. Now, go innovate your production.